And welcome to Lighting Essentials, everybody. My name is Don Giannetti. I run Lighting Essentials and Project 52. And uh, what we're doing on Lighting Essentials this uh, this year is we're presenting some of the great work our Project 52 people are doing as they enter the world of commercial photography. So Project 52 is uh, an assignment every month, uh, every, I'm sorry, every week, uh, and a critique every week. And the assignments are reality-based um, portfolio building and completely professional in how they are both assigned and critiqued. Uh, we're going to start off with Ann Stevenson's uh, shot here of a, um, a, a wine opener, interestingly enough. Um, it's kind of like an electric wine opener, I suppose. And you've got the corks in the glass. One of the uh, nice things about Ann's picture is her beautiful lighting. We've got a little little highlight right there to get that edge off the background as you can see there a little bit of a dark edge to bring it off the lighter back background as you can see there a nice highlight running up the front a real nice feel to this brushed aluminum uh, through here and also uh, lighting that lets us know that the base is also uh, a little shiny the light on the glass is very very sweet all the way through here we got the rim of the glass all lit up and over on this side, we got a little bit of a dark area just to set that glass off. Now, lighting, as you as you probably know, is a very personal thing, and how you uh, want to achieve that lighting is uh, is is the the whole technical aspect of the photography. So, Anne was able to visualize this shot in her head and say, "Now, how am I going to create it?" And let's see how she did it. Pretty nice. We've got. You can see she's got her softbox is back behind the product. You've got white cards on both sides, white card in the front, a mirror right here. That little mirror is angled in such a way as to give that little highlight right up the front of that um, uh, opener, that wine opener. Um, you can see there's lots and lots of stuff going on here. We got this uh, light angle to fill the foam core in front. So she's got it angled so this foam core in front is lighting up part of this um, this object here, but also taking away the foam core that would have put a big white stripe down the wine bottle. What does that look like? Let's refresh your memory. There's the shot again. So we do have the mirror casting the, the little bright line up here, the white card in front opening up all this area in here and the corks, but keeping that uh, that right side open doesn't put a big highlight up the front of the of the glass. Now that's something Ann didn't want. So a very nice little piece by Ann Stevenson. Duck. Unitas little coffee shot here. Simple on the uh, on the um, at the first glance simple shot but nicely lit all the way through here. Uh, in the critique, I mentioned to Duck that I might move this uh, pile of uh, beans and cup back a little bit so that this high, this uh, uh, edge um, of the of the table would run behind the coffee beans just a little bit, not put that horizon up above the coffee beans. Uh, but other than that, uh, uh, Duck did a nice job. Look at this beautiful lighting on top of the coffee beans, right on top of the coffee here and of course we're adding a little steam to the coffee here's ducks great little lighting set up got a scrim upon on the top got a light board here uh, lighting in this this board lighting the uh, uh, scrim um, so very complex at the top light lighting board board lighting scrim uh, two boards on the side and again now we've seen the lighting let's go back and look at the shot very very nice Kurt Moore brought in a uh, uh, adult beverage drink, Jack Daniels, um, on this kind of neat old hewn log that we have here. Uh, nicely lit from behind and uh, nice light on the glass as well. As you can see, the highlights keep the glass right up in front here and the um, uh, highlight behind the Jack Daniels uh, liquor bottle here really keeps that... Uh, liquor color nice and bright and shiny. Uh, 
Kurt's very careful to keep this little white line right on the edge of that bottle cap, right up in here. And notice that, that the, uh, the highlights kind of gradate just a little bit right here. Just a little bit of gradation and it just softens the whole thing. Here is Kurt's um, way of doing it. We've got an Einstein head on the back. We've got uh, two diffusion panels with uh, two uh, strip boxes behind the diffusion panels. So the strip boxes are lighting the diffusion. The diffusion is lighting the product here. You can see the old piece of wood. Let's go back and look at the image again. And you can see that that uh, Einstein on the background has got a little bit of a gel on it. Just putting a little bit of a pop of light, a little halo of light around the whiskey to make it stand up off the back and give the image dimension. As you can see, Kurt did many images to put this all together. We've got a white card behind the liquor. We've got light against the back. We've got white card creating the side. We've got card creating the back, all kinds of things. And then Kurt put it all together here in Photoshop. And what a nice thing for Kurt to do to give us all this great background information here, Photoshop wise, so you can see how he assembled it. Let's go back and look one more time. Very nice shot. Next up is Melissa Vaughn with a makeup shot. And uh, really cool how Melissa got this uh, these makeups to spray across here. The uh, brush and mirror look good. We've got nice angles in here, leading lines, lines that break into that. So there's dynamics going on uh, in the critique. Uh, one of the things I mentioned to Melissa is that we need to clean this mirror up absolutely clean in here. Uh, it's hard to do with these these uh, these colors, but that's one thing that's imperative to a shot like this is to get those edges just really, really clean. Well, I thank you for uh, coming along. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I want to show you Melissa's light. Uh, Melissa was uh, away from her studio, normal studio shooting area. So... Uh, in order to get the assignment done, she improvised. We've got um, tops of uh, ice chests and white binders serving as fill. We've got a uh, soft box and an octa box over here. Black to to black box to refine the rim uh, right up here. Just that little bit of rim up here that's going black. That's what she's doing. She's defining all of her edges with all of these things around it. So... A beautiful job by Melissa Vaughn. Thanks for coming out, folks, and uh, and visiting with us uh, here at Lighting Essentials. Project 52 is uh, starting up again in April, but uh, uh, stay tuned at Lighting Essentials. We'll tell you more about it. Uh, great photographers. I'm so proud to have these folks and uh, doing these great jobs for me. So thanks for coming, and I'll uh, I'll see you next time.